Hey everyone, it's Caroline. Welcome back to Contemporary Mama. Today's video is going to be a summer Trader Joe's haul. I was just talking with my husband this morning and I realized I have not been there since December, which is crazy because I love Trader Joe's. So I was long overdue for a trip. Luckily the line to get in wasn't that long because I've heard some people have had to wait like upwards of 45 minutes just to get in the stores around me. So I got a whole bunch of all of my favorite items from Trader Joe's. I can't wait to share them all with you. Some of them are new items, which they usually mark in the store, but I always like to check the website before I go. They have a section called what's new at Trader Joe's and I see what are their new seasonal items so that I can be on the lookout for them while I am shopping. So they are just the best at their seasonal items. They are always switching up their products and they have so many great fun new things this summer that I'm excited to share with you. So I'm gonna get right on into it, show you everything that I got, what I'm planning on using it for, and some of it is going to be a sneak peek at an upcoming video. I'm gonna be doing a video all about super fast and easy Trader Joe's dinners. So if you're watching this video, then you are gonna get a sneak peek at that. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video. I'm gonna start out with the frozen ham so that I can put those away uh, so they don't melt. So I got some desserts because it's not summer if you don't have some nice cold desserts. So I love these. They are the hold the cone. They are like a mini ice cream cone. So they're the perfect size for my kids to have for a little treat after dinner. And they love the chocolate flavor. They do have a vanilla one too, I believe. And then I also get these. I'm excited to have these myself. Plus my kids are gonna love them. They love mint chocolate chip, but they are these little mini mint cookie ice cream sandwiches. So these look delicious. We haven't had these before. I'm not sure if they're new. I don't think they were marked that way, but these are gonna be awesome desserts. Next up, I got these. These are their mini chicken cilantro wontons. These are in the frozen section. They are absolutely delicious on their own. They have a ton of awesome dipping sauces there too, but I'm planning on using it in that um, dinner recipe that's gonna be, dinner recipe video that's gonna be coming up. So you'll have to stay tuned to see how I use those. Now, next up is another cult favorite. If you know Trader Joe's, you know that they're absolutely favorite for their mandarin orange chicken. This stuff is the bomb, it's amazing. I always buy multiple bags whenever I go. However, a new item, or a sort of newer within the last few months, they have this and I can't wait to give it a try. It's the same delicious mandarin orange chicken that we all know and love. Sorry, it's not focusing. But it comes in a single serving bowl over some fried rice. So I cannot wait to bring this to work. This is gonna be such a great, quick and easy meal for on the go. I can bring it to work. You just heat it up in the microwave. So obviously I bought two. All right, next up are these. They are their mini tacos. My kids are obsessed with these. They come in chicken and beef. Unfortunately, they didn't have the chicken. I'm so upset, but I did buy two packages of their beef. My kids still like these too. And these are awesome because you just have to microwave them for a minute. So they're a really fast and easy lunch or dinner. And um, they come out really crispy if you warm them up. Um, either in the microwave or in like the toaster oven. But what I like to do is wrap them in a wet paper towel while I microwave them and they come out super soft. So that's the way that my kids usually like to eat them. And they've been having these ever since they were babies, like less than one year old, they would gnaw on these. And since I cook them that way and they come out really soft, they just kind of like mush up and fall apart in their mouth when they are like chewing on them as a baby. So if you're doing something like baby led weaning, this is like a really cool option um, that your kids might like to try. Okay, next up are these. I have not tried these before. I don't think they're a new item. I believe I've seen them before, but these are uh, coconut shrimp. They're also in the frozen section. My parents are coming to visit soon, so I thought that this would just be a really nice appetizer to have one night maybe before dinner. I have some like sweet chili sauce that would go great dipping in this. And this is another one of my favorite lunch items to get from Trader Joe's. You sort of have to make it at home. It's not really something you could eat on the go, but it is their frozen chilaquiles. I love these. This is like my favorite thing to get when we go to Mexico every year. Um, but this is like a delicious filling lunch. Um, you just heat it up on the stove top and I absolutely love this. I usually buy multiple bags of that as well. 
I also got some of their riced cauliflower stir fry. This is delicious. Um, this is an awesome rice substitute if you're trying to eat a little bit healthier or low carb. Definitely pick up one of these. You just throw in some soy sauce and saute it. It's delicious as a side dish. Um, and then I also got a couple of their traditional sort of fried rices um, because my husband and kids really enjoy them. So this is our favorite, the Japanese fried rice. And then I also got one of their like Chinese veggie fried rices as well. You just microwave those, they're really fast and easy and go great with that orange chicken. So this is another cult favorite from Trader Joe's, their cauliflower gnocchi. I've been eating these for years. I have like a video totally dedicated to it. I absolutely love, love, love these. And then this is a newer item that they just came out with. So I'm excited to try it. Um, I'll let you know how it is. This is their kale gnocchi. So I haven't really heard much feedback about how it is but I'm gonna be trying it in that Trader Joe's dinner um, video that's gonna be coming up later this month. So you'll get a little feedback about this in that video. Um, oh, now this you see me use all the time. It is their frozen crushed ginger and it comes in these little individual squares. So one square equals one teaspoon. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know I always buy this. I can never not have it in my freezer because I refuse to use fresh ginger. It's just ugh, a lot of work to like peel and chop and mince. So I always have this in my freezer. They don't sell it at Aldi, which is where I do my normal grocery shopping every week. So I have to get it at Trader Joe's whenever I go. And then the last frozen item I got is this. It is their rice medley. It comes in the frozen section. It has brown rice, red rice, and black barley. I usually just get their frozen brown rice because you just stick it in the microwave and it's like so, it's the fastest way to cook brown rice, obviously. Brown rice takes like a while to cook on the stove. Um, so I'm deciding to switch it up and give this a try and I hope we like it. All right, so let me just put away this frozen stuff and I'll be right back to show you everything else. So next up, I'll show you what I got for meats. I didn't buy a lot because I have a ton in my freezer, but there are some things that I just had to get because I can only get them at Trader Joe's. And the first up are my favorite marinated meat. It is the shawarma chicken thighs. These are the most delicious chicken thighs you'll ever have. I swear, this is like one of my favorite things to get from Trader Joe's. Shawarma chicken is a Middle Eastern marinade. It is so flavorful. It tastes amazing on the grill. So I try and put a lot of it in the summer because even though it's delicious if you cook it on the stove, it is extra tasty when you cook it outside on the grill. So I got two of them and I'm definitely gonna be getting more throughout the summer. The next thing that I got were some center cut filet mignons. This was definitely a splurge. They were super pricey, but uh, I have been considering doing a video about how I cook filet mignons because I do them in my sous vide. So if any of you guys have a sous vide and you are interested in getting a tutorial, a tutorial on how to cook these in your sous vide, please leave me a comment and let me know. I'm not sure if that would be anything people are interested in. I'm not sure if sous vide cooking is something that a lot of people do. I don't really see a lot of videos like that on YouTube. So if you do have one and you're interested in any sous vide tutorials, please let me know because I love cooking with my sous vide. Then the last two things I got were for my Easy Trader Joe's dinner video, and it is their already prepared grilled chicken. This is gonna be really quick and easy to throw together for a dinner that you'll be seeing in that video that I keep talking about. And then I also got two packages of their gyro slices. I know that's not how you say gyro, but I'm American, that's how I say it. So I got two of these, and I can't wait to try these. I haven't tried these before, so again, I'll be testing those out in that upcoming video. All right, so I'm gonna move on to my packaged items. So first up is their avocado oil. I do not own avocado oil, but a lot of recipes that I find on Pinterest and online suggest using it. So I bought this and I'm gonna be giving it a go. The next thing that I got is some coffee and I don't really buy my coffee at Trader Joe's before, but I am running 
dangerously low on coffee and I'm not going to any other store anytime soon. So I had to get some. So if you buy coffee at Trader Joe's, let me know what your favorite is so that I know what to look for next time. But this is the one that I got. I got two bags of their uh, wake up blend. So it's just like a morning coffee. So just plain flavored. Uh, medium roast, smooth and well blended, 100% Arabica ground coffee. So I got two of those, so I am good for like two weeks probably. I drink a lot of coffee. Next up is this. It is their Greek style feta dressing. Um, I love making Greek salads. It's like my all time favorite salad. And I just ran out of my other Greek dressing. So I'm going to give this a try. It looks sort of like a creamy type Greek dressing, which is different than sort of the vinaigrettes that you usually find at most restaurants. So I'm excited to give this a try. And I also got three of these. These are their vanilla cold brew coffee cans. I love getting these because I can bring them to work and they're super portable and I usually drink them in the afternoon when I need like a little pick me up. I work really long hours, I'm a nurse, so I'm at work from 7 a.m. till 8 p.m. So I definitely need a little caffeine burst in the afternoon to help me get through the second half of my shift. So I got three of those. And they did come in black as well. This is the vanilla, um, but it only has 60 calories. So I think that's pretty good for a coffee drink. Next up, I got some pine nuts. I don't really buy these usually, but in the summer, I always buy them because I need these to make homemade pesto. We planted a ton of basil plants in my garden and I am really looking forward to them growing. They're kind of sad looking still. I'm not sure why. Um, but hopefully they're going to perk up and start really blossoming soon because I love making pesto in the summertime. It's like one of my favorite things to make. I uh, just love pesto on everything, on meat, vegetables, pasta, everything. So that's why I got that big bag of pine nuts because hopefully I'm gonna be making a lot of pesto soon. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, I got some of this. I haven't tried this before but it is their Indian style flatbread. I got this in the bread section, obviously, and it's very soft, very thick. I'm gonna be using these with that gyro meat. Um, so I haven't tried these before, but I love um, naan, and I'm pretty sure this is like pretty similar to naan. This is a new item I saw. Looks like it's one of their seasonal soups. It's just a corn chowder. So this was in the refrigerated section, sort of by the produce. It has potatoes, onions, celery, carrots, and bacon. So oop, it's not vegetarian. So FYI, if you're looking to check that out, it has little bacon pieces in it. But if you're not a vegetarian, that sounds delicious. Okay, so I got a lot of drinks. <laughs> I'm not very creative when I make cocktails and I love having like a refreshing cocktail in the summer. Um, so this is why I bought all of these sort of sparkling drinks. So first I got this. This is a seasonal item. It's new, it's their sparkling watermelon juice. And my younger sister Rachel got this and said it was delicious. So I plan on making a nice refreshing watermelon cocktail tonight. Add this with a little Tito's and I'm gonna be like in heaven. Another thing that I love getting is their Italian blood orange soda. I love making a blood orange martini with this. So this is like one of my favorite ways to make a cocktail. I've been doing this for years. Um, again, just like this with like a little Tito's and that's it, Tito's vodka. Then I got these, just as like some fun little drinks to have in case anyone comes over. Um, I'm gonna be having my parents come to visit soon, so I wanted to stock up on some yummy drinks that we could have in the afternoon. So this is just their sparkling pink lemonade and their sparkling limeade. Um, Brianna Kate did a video on her YouTube channel recently where she did like a raspberry mint limeade and it looked delicious so I do have mint in my garden and I can just grab some raspberries and make that drink okay so I'm gonna move on to the dips I got a lot because Trader Joe's dips are the best so the first dip I got is something that you've seen if you've watched any of my other 
Trader Joe's hauls before. It's their buffalo style hummus. This is so tasty and delicious. It's amazing with carrots and celery. So I definitely grabbed one of these. And I also got this. It's their spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. It's just like that creamy spinach dip that you love getting at restaurants, but it has like half the fat and calories. So definitely reduced guilt version of that kind of dip. And then I also got their tzatziki, which I'm going to be using in a couple different recipes. So tzatziki is probably easy to make, but I just find it so much easier to just buy it. So that's why I picked up one from them. And then I was just talking about pesto. I did get one of their containers of fresh pesto. Um, so until my basil sort of starts growing and there's a little bit more of it, um, and it's ready to harvest. I'm just going to have to buy pesto because my basil doesn't, is not ready to be making pesto yet. So moving on to produce, I didn't buy a lot because I do do like my regular shopping at Aldi. Their prices are a little bit better than Trader Joe's, but I needed a couple things. So I just got some of these shirataki mushrooms. That's for a recipe. I got this giant thing of strawberries because my kids can go through this in no joke, like a day. Um, and if you missed my meal prep video last month, make sure that you go check that out because I share a secret on how I get my strawberries to be fresh and don't get moldy at all for two weeks. So I'll make sure that video is linked down in the description box. It's a must have when the produce in the summer is so fresh, you don't want it going bad and getting rotten and wasting money. Uh, next up, I got my favorite produce item from Trader Joe's. I got two packages because I love them. They are the carrots of many colors. I absolutely love getting these because they're the perfect size for dipping. They're like these little mini, not too small. They're like bigger than baby carrots, but I'd say they're mini carrots. They're multiple colors. They have purple, yellow, and orange. So they're great for dipping in all those dips that I just got. They're delicious roasted in the oven and they're already washed and peeled. So it makes for just a really fast and easy way to eat carrots, which I love carrots. Next up, I got one of their chopped salads. They do have a bunch of chopped salads there, but this is new, or at least since I went there last. It's their Buffalo Ranch Chopped Salad. So I love buffalo chicken um, and buffalo flavoring. So I've got this, bananas. I got some bok choy also for a recipe. And then I also got some of their raviolis. They have a whole section of fresh ravioli. They have tons of different flavors that they have all year round. And then they also always have seasonal varieties as well. So they always have this one in the summer, at least the past few years. I've always been able to find it in the summertime. So it is their ricotta lemon zest ravioli. It's delicious. Tastes great with pesto, but really you can use any sauce and it's going to be amazing because it's so delicious. Okay, next I just got chicken broth for a recipe. Ketchup because my kids put ketchup on everything. I got this, which is not new, but I decided to give it a try. It's their lavender salt scrub. I wasn't sure if it was salt or sugar, but it's a salt scrub. I love using these in the shower to like get my skin really soft and smooth. I think these are new. I haven't seen them before, or maybe I just wasn't paying attention, but they are sweet potato chips. They look good. And then last but not least, I got some treats. We are going to be potty training my daughter really soon. So you definitely need a lot of bribing to get your kids potty trained if you haven't done it before. So I grabbed some jelly beans. These are so cute and perfect for summer. They're lobster shaped gummies. And then they're flower shaped gummies. I think both of these gummies are like a seasonal item. But yeah, I think that's everything. I really hope that you enjoyed this haul, that you got some ideas 
of some new and fun seasonal products to try the next time you go to Trader Joe's. If there's anything that I didn't include in this haul that you always buy and that you love from Trader Joe's, please leave me a comment and let me know so that I can be on the lookout for it the next time that I go to Trader Joe's. I love trying new products. As you can tell, I'm always looking to find out what is like the newest, greatest thing that they have. So again, if you have something that you think I should give a try, leave me a comment and let me know. So I want to thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you guys on Tuesday with a brand new video. Bye.